Hey, so this is part two of the spring engine maintenance video series. It's not really a series, it's just two videos. So in this one, I am going to replace the heat exchanger zinc for my universal M25 XP engine on my Catalina 34. In the other video, I showed you how to change the oil in the M25 XP, or at least I showed you how I changed the oil, but you're here. So changing the heat exchanger is pretty simple, um, or not the heat exchanger, the zinc is pretty simple. Uh, if you're like me, you may not have realized that in addition to the zincs that are on the bottom of the boat, on the prop shaft, and probably maybe one or two on the hull, um, you also have one in your heat exchanger, so you need to replace it regularly or uh, that same salt water that's corroding the metal bits on the bottom of the boat could corrode the pieces inside the engine. And yeah, so if you're wondering why I'm in the stern berth in my boat, it's because uh, under the bed right here is actually the easiest way to reach the heat exchanger on this boat. So let's do it. So I've taken the cover off the engine just to get a little bit of natural light in here so I can see things better. But I can also use this to show you where the heat exchanger is. On this engine, it is this red cylinder in the back here. And the zinc is actually on the bottom of it. And that is going to be kind of down on this side, down there, kind of under there where we've got some yuck happening. So this is actually a pretty simple job. Uh, all we need is a replacement zinc. This one is a model Z2552. It has an 11 16th inch head and pipe thread is 3 8 of an inch. Um, this will actually depend on what kind of heat exchanger you have. So I've got the Universal M25 XP engine, but uh, I think a lot of Catalina owners have replaced the heat exchanger at one time or another so you may actually have a different part but that's what I have the Z2552. Um, we're also going to need a wrench. I have these little stubby ones uh, which is nice for reaching things in the engine and lastly a plastic bag because seawater is going to pour out of the heat exchanger when you take the zinc off and you also probably want some shop towels. And that's it. So before we take the old zinc off, we need to shut off the um, raw water inlet to the engine so that we don't sink the boat. And in this boat is located in the head under the sink, um, along with a couple of other ones. We've got the, so this one on the left here with the strainer, that is the one that we want today but we also have inlets we have a drain for the sink which is this guy here and then we have a inlet right in the middle and that is for the toilet in in this boat but this is the one we want and so we just need to make sure that it is turned so that the handle is perpendicular to the hose that means it's closed and now we can take the zinc off. So there isn't really a good angle to show this, but uh, what I'm going to do first is loosen the old zinc just a couple of turns. Okay, slight change of plans. The zinc is on there pretty good, so I'm gonna use a socket wrench instead, um, which will give me a little bit more leverage. Doesn't fit. Okay, the socket wrench didn't fit, so now I'm going in with an oversized adjustable wrench. And it doesn't really matter if I round over the bit or anything because this zinc is going to be used up and replaced. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what's Now, we 
go in with the stubby wrench and the plastic back. Here I'm trying to get the Ziploc bag underneath the zinc to basically be a little flexible bucket to hopefully catch the seawater. And hopefully the zinc itself will fall into the bag too, so you don't have to go fishing around for it underneath the engine. So the Ziploc bag worked pretty well. The zinc that was in there was worn down pretty far, uh, which may be why there's a little bit of corrosion down by the on the heat exchanger itself, which is probably bad for it, but well, we're changing the zinc now, so it won't get any worse. Okay, so we are done. You can see under here the shiny new zinc. And it is nice and secure. I had just done this last spring, but apparently it needs to be done more than once a year in my marina. I mean, apparently we have more galvanic corrosion than I realized. So yeah, I'll be doing that and I guess you should too. Uh, but, but that's it. Now we're done. Time to sail. Feels good to have a project done, but just in case you're wondering, this is what you have to do to get to all of the crap that you need to do boat projects, especially when you live on a boat. So yeah, it's a real pain in the butt.